Welcome to the video on creating custom views. When you create a custom view, you are selecting the data and then filtering to find the results that you want to see. Let's get started with an example. Under the main menu, choose Create Custom Views. Under Views, click New View to open the Create New View window. Enter the view name. In this example, I will use IHSM New View. To include a nightly spatial update for this view, select Edit to enable editing the checkbox and then check the box under Spatial Update. You can also choose the box under List to have the view display under Lists in other screens, for example, in WellMap. To save, click the Save button. In the database, views are in the View section and spatial layers are under the tables. Views are dynamic. Every nightly update, the views refresh. The spatial layers are tables that are dropped and recreated. You will then have the latest updates. Next step is to select a table to work with, for example, T-Well header. The area below will populate with the available columns for that table. You can select the attributes you want by clicking the Edit button and checking the box next to the column name under Selected. Or you can select the Zoom option from the drop-down to the right where you can select multiple columns by selecting and dragging the selection box under Selected. In this example, Activity Code to Bottom Hole Longitude, then Source and Down. Once you've selected your columns, you then need to select Save and then close the zoom from the drop-down. Once the changes are complete, you must make sure the changes are saved. Once saved, the Save icon will be grayed out. Then click Add Attributes. This populates the Attributes area with your selected choices. You can add another table and additional columns by adding them the same way and again making sure you save your changes. In this example, I'll add the T Production Production Abstract table and select all the attributes. Save and choose Add Attributes. Under the Attributes section is where you will see the joins which are created for you in the Joins section below. If you wish to choose additional joins, you can enable the Edit button and select the Left Joins by clicking the checkbox under Left. Save your edits when you are finished. In this example, I've selected API number to have a left join. If you wish to build a condition, choose Edit or make sure the icon is grayed out, which means you are already in Edit mode, and then the plus icon to select Add New. Use the drop-down menu under Table to select your table and under Column to select the column name. Select your operator under the Operator column and then use single quotes around your condition. Save the selection. In this example, I've selected the table T-Well header. The column, County Name, the operator, Contains, and the condition in single quotes is Frio. Again, don't forget to click Save. This view will be created based on the selected tables and joined T-Well header and T-Production Production Abstract with the chosen condition. It reads, find all county names that contain Frio within T-Well header and T-Production Production Abstract. Choose Create View. You can watch the summary progression in the area below the buttons. The top 10 results from the query will display in the top 10 preview to the left. You will see the view creation in the summary box in the top right. The view will be created with a UCV underscore prefix for user custom view and the name you identified when you created this view. In this example, UCV underscore IHSM new view. The record count below will show the total results of your query. The SQL query used to create this view is available in the Query window. It's available here should you need to copy it for use elsewhere. If you'd like to clone the view you just created so you don't need to recreate an existing query to add or make changes to it, in Meridian, 
choose the Create Custom View window again. Select the view you wish to clone. In this example, I'll use the UCV underscore IHSM new view and click on the Clone View button. Enter a new name for it, remembering to omit spaces in the name. For example, IHSM clone view and click Next. The new clone view will appear under your views list. You can choose Create Spatial to start the creation of the spatial layer tables. Three will be created using the prefix UCS for User Custom Spatial. One for the surface wells, for example, UCS underscore IHSM New View. One for the bottom holes, UCS IHSM New View underscore BH. And one for the surface to bottom hole lines, UCS IHSM New View underscore Line. You can use these spatial layer tables for a GIS tool or a tool such as Spotfire. To connect to Spotfire and bring in your view, open Spotfire and choose the icon to add data tables. Click the Add button and choose Microsoft SQL Server. Enter the server connection IP address under Server and your Windows authentication username and password. Click Connect. Once connected, you'll see the database is available for selection under Database. I'll select IHSM underscore Meridian and click OK. The View and Connection box opens and populates with the available tables and database. The fastest way to search is by using UCV underscore to narrow your selections. Select your table and click Add. It will populate under Views in Connection with the table name and populate the columns in selected view. Once complete, click OK and it will confirm the data table has been added to populate. Click OK again to accept the selection. The data will be brought in for analysis. The following outlines how to connect ArcGIS and bring in your data. In the catalog tree, under Database Connections, choose Add Database Connection. For the database platform, choose SQL Server, and for the instance, enter the server IP. I choose to authenticate using Operating System Authentication. Under Database, select the one you wish to connect to. In this example, IHSM underscore Meridian. Click OK. Next, select Add Data. Double-click on your database to select, and then choose the data you wish to add. This concludes the video on creating custom views, cloning the views, and bringing your data into a third-party app such as Spotfire or ArcGIS. Thank you for watching.